first years of the microbiome research and, and also the industrial activities very much focused on the, on the uh, gastrointestinal tract. But I think we see uh, great opportunities now also for, uh, for treating uh, skin, skin diseases. So I think skin will be important, um, especially when you look at you know, lifestyle and maybe skin aging. So I think a lot of companies that produce skincare products will be interested to know how the microbiome influences your skin. Skin and also the lung microbiome could hold some really interesting information. So um, it's just like more diff difficult to actually um, yeah, obtain and also analyze. So always development will be a little bit slower in those areas. From a mathematical perspective, I would say the skin simply because it is our largest surface after the intestine. When you see someone who's got inflammatory disease of the skin, it's a reasonably good assumption there may be another inflammatory site elsewhere. But it's the one that matters to people. They will reach into their pocket and pay for it themselves. And it gives us an opportunity to start looking at the all of the types of interventions, everything from the food that we eat, the cosmetics that we buy, the behaviors that we engage in, and how they impact this. So for the skin, it gives us an opportunity to engage with the people who really matter, our patients, our consumers, and try to give them the outcomes that they want.